Hey guys, Solo Jones here, and today I'm going to be playing an interesting game. It is called Surgeon Simulator 2013, and it is by Bossa Studios, an indie game developer. It was made for the Global Game Test 2013, and it was made in 48 hours, so uh, they, they went in an interesting direction this game, and I hope you guys end up liking it. Okay, so you have like total control of this guy's hand, your AWERQ for the fingers, and then with the right mouse you control where it goes, and the first thing I gotta do is open up this chest cavity, uh, because that's the start of every surgery. So I'm gonna grab onto this and move it aside. Ew, that's his insides. That's, oh, uh, well, I'm apparently fisting his chest cavity now, and that's okay. That's what all surgeons do when they perform surgery. I'm not sure what's going on on the other side of this cloth, but I'm pretty sure there was an angry beaver in there, and it has now attacked my hand, and now I can't, okay, now the beaver has stolen the cloth from me and is sucking it slowly down his trachea while uh, the lungs fight me back as well. And I think I've made the situation a little bit worse. Uh, the only real solution when this sort of thing's happened is to go for the beaver with a hammer. If you can hit it over the head hard enough, you can really fix the situation that easily. So let's go ahead and grab the hammer. You gotta stick it through your hand. Uh, the further embedded it actually is into your hand, the better. Surgeons are known for having really good grip, and this is how. They actually cut a hole in their hand and they stab the hammer through, and that allows it to, to stay in place. So you can do things like, um, like smash this guy's chest oh, open. Oh there we go. Okay, beaver. We're going, okay, there's no beaver in there. Uh, it's actually just a cloth, uh, a heart, and some lungs. Oh, and there's also... A, uh, uh, some bone fragments, pretty sure those are ribs. Uh, and I finally got the hammer out of my hand. You see, that's how good the grip was. It was actually pretty hard to get out. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove some of these unnecessary things. Like, everyone knows, okay, so organs are better on the outside of the body. This is a little known fact, but you actually don't need them on the inside of your body, and you can actually breathe better if they're on the outside. Uh, this is a result of when they're in the chest, they only can breathe through the trachea, actually. Uh, that's the only way they can get oxygen, but if you let them out of the body and you let them breathe in some of the, uh, the air in this hospital room, for example, they can get air through all surfaces of the body, so, or all surfaces of the lung, excuse me. So they actually have more air intake and it's better for the patient. So we're just going to remove both of the lungs here and just get him a little bit more breathing room. And I'm not so sure what this cloth is really doing. I think the beaver just grabbed it too hard. Uh, oh, oh, I got it. Okay, so the beaver's dead. Uh, and now that the beaver's dead, I can actually focus on this surgery. Uh, and everyone knows ribs actually don't do anything. They just get in the way, so I'm just going to I'm just gonna move them on out of here. And, uh, and we can focus on what's really important. Uh, if they would actually cooperate. Like I said, they just get in the way. All right, we're just going to ignore them for now and move on to cutting this guy's chest open. Uh, this looks like the most interesting thing to use to do so, so as soon as I can manage to grip it with my surgeon grip of death, uh, we can we can get that going. Uh, it's always best if you pat the saw before you grab it, as it needs to be loved as well. And uh, the more you drag it across the patient's body, the better, as everyone knows that blood is just extra weight in the body, so it's a really good weight loss regime to just lose as much blood as you have, or as you can. I mean, you need a little bit to survive, but not really that much. So if you want that scale to start showing the numbers you want, ladies, uh, you really should just start, you know, using leeches or something. And uh, as you can see, here is the famous surgeon grip again. It really is very strong. Uh, there's not much that can break it. In fact, I can't even break it out of my own hand. Oh, there we go. Uh, thank you, and it hit the guy straight in the eye. Um, that's actually not supposed to happen, and I'm probably going to get sued for malpractice now. But uh, it's okay, I'll just give him a little rub on the cheek to show that everything is perfectly okay. And when he wakes up, I'm sure he won't remember a thing. It'll just be our little secret. It's not like this is going on YouTube or anything. Uh, and so I'm going to pick up the scalpel, and I think I need to cut this heart loose. This is a transplant after all. I can't have him having two hearts, so that would be fucking awesome, so why don't we do that? Uh, I'm going to go in here. And if these stupid in-the-way ribs could just get out of the way, I could start cutting this out of him. Um, uh, okay, let's cut the big purple one first. Pretty sure those are called arteries. Pretty sure. So the, uh, the weird thing, they've perfected scalpels now that can actually be controlled entirely through telekinesis. Uh, it's brand new 
brand new technology. It's really, really cutting edge. No pun intended. Okay, the pun was intended. And we're just going to see if we can actually do it well enough. As you can see, the technology has not been perfected. Um, if it was perfected, I would have this heart out in about 20 seconds. I'm actually a professional surgeon in real life, too. And this game is so accurate that we actually use it to remote control the surgeries that we do. Uh, okay, and I think I've cut through all of them. I'm not 100% about that, because the heart's not moving around or anything, so I'm going to keep trying. Uh, if you make the OK symbol with your hands, then that just lets the surgeon know that everything is going to be perfectly fine. And it obviously is. Uh, this is proving more difficult than I had originally thought it would be. This might be quite a long let's play for a game that is this short. Okay. Okay, so that didn't go very well. Um, it was going really well up until the uh, the faulty the faulty utensils I was using. So we're just gonna go ahead and try again. All right. So the first patient was obviously a little bit sub far as far as uh, patients go. He was just a little weak. Uh, I'm pretty sure he had a brain aneurysm during the surgery. It actually wasn't me who killed him. He killed himself. Uh, he just he needed to goddamn surgeon grip. He just needed to be stronger. And so now I have a brand new patient. It's his twin brother. Uh, that was Kyle. This is Brad. Welcome, Brad. And we're we're going to just uh, we're going to go ahead and get into that chest of his and see what we can do about a transplant. Get out of here, Beaker. Uh, so the first thing I'm going to use is the hammer. Uh, I'm actually using a brand new technique where you don't stab the hammer through. We'll see how long it takes me to open up the chest. Oh, oh okay. So it worked pretty well. Oh, but as you can see, uh, it phased through my finger. So that's a brand new surgery technique that I have just now invented. Uh, and I'm going to pull out all these unnecessary things yet again. Uh, lung number one, lung number two, and then all these stupid fucking useless ribs. Come here now. Come here now. Oh my god. There we go. There we go. Next rib. Gotta be delicate with these things. Whoop. The whooping sound actually helps matters. Uh, it makes it way easier to grab onto these things. So, um, obviously I can't grab this because I haven't whooped yet, so here we go. Uh, I will whoop in just a second and I will grab onto it perfectly fine. Okay, um, so I'm a bit reluctant to whoop, so I'm not sure if this is actually going to work. There we go. No, it, no we don't. We don't go yet. Okay, and poop. There we go. Okay, successful. Now let's get out my favorite, the scalpel. And this, I don't think, is one of those telekinetic scalpel, scalpels, so hopefully I'll be able to manage it this time. Um, I'm just going to flip it around randomly, show off my surgeon skills, uh, because everyone knows if you look like an MLG pro at surgery, then the patient will have more confidence in you and you can bang his wife. Uh, I think I have it loose. There might be one more connector there that I need to sever. There we go. I'm pretty sure that heart is loose now. So I'm just gonna reach in there, give it a little, give it a little tug, give, give it a little grab. Uh, okay, it's still affixed somehow. So I need my scalpel back. I could always get a new one. I've got like four. They're so bloody cheap. Okay, so we're, we're just going to get a new scalpel. Uh, this one's got a weird shape on the end of it. Maybe it'll be better. For cutting hearts. I got it! Sweet! Okay, I like that one better. And let's pick up the heart. This stupid flimsy heart. We're going to just throw that on over there. Open up the donor heart. Pick it up. Drop it inside. Ta-da! He is going to be fine. I get an A++ and my time was 3 minutes and 15 seconds. If you can beat this time, and I know you can, uh, I wouldn't mind seeing your video, video responses to this one. Thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you later. You can find the link to the game. Uh, there's a web version and a download version in the description. Bye.